Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dan Gorodnik, and I have the privilege of chairing the Council's Committee on Economic Development. Uh, I would like to uh, thank my fellow committee members and uh, staff for joining us for today's hearing. We're joined by Council Members uh, Borelli, Kozlowitz, and Johnson at the moment. Uh, we expect to be joined by more members shortly. Uh, we uh, are going to be having a, uh, a vote today on uh, introductions 1316A, 1322A, and 1337A. Uh, today's hearing will provide this committee with the opportunity to vote on these three critical pieces of legislation which will improve transparency on projects funded by the Economic Development Corporation of New York City. The city spends nearly $2.8 billion a year on economic development. These funds are dedicated to laudable goals such as the creation of new jobs, the expansion of affordable housing, the improvement of the quality of city neighborhoods, or the refurbishing of sites of cultural or historical significance, among others. While these projects are critical expenditures, they also need to be subject to oversight and scrutiny. After all, these are still public dollars being spent here. Unfortunately, it's not always clear where that money goes and whether or not it achieves its intended objectives. The package of bills before the committee today takes steps to improve transparency at EDC and ensure the city tax dollars are being spent most effectively. I sponsored Introduction 1316A, which would require EDC to submit fiscal impact statements and job creation estimates for EDC-sponsored economic development projects receiving financial assistance from the city. Introduction 1322A, sponsored by Councilmember Corey Johnson, who we're going to hear from in a moment, would require EDC to report on its efforts to recover funds from third parties that default on economic development agreements. These so-called clawbacks are an important part of ensuring that taxpayer dollars are well spent. By tracking the recovery of funds used in support of economic development, we at the Council will be better equipped to understand how effectively these funds are being used. Finally, the Committee will be voting on Introduction 1337A, sponsored by Council Member Helen Rosenthal. This bill will require EDC to submit a project description and budget to the Council at least 30 days before an economic development project agreement is executed. That will give us at the Council advance notice of the estimated costs of pending economic development projects and permit a response period from the Council if issues should arise before a project's commencement. I also understand that Introduction 1337A acts as a bit of a legislative cleanup for our uh, hardworking colleagues and central staff, and I applaud their efforts at reducing an unwieldy section of the City Charter into several much more manageable pieces. I want to thank my committee staff, Legislative Counsel Alex Polinoff, Policy Analyst Nadia Johnson, and Finance Analyst Aliyah Ali for their work on the bills. I would also like to thank the other members of the committee and my co-sponsors of uh, the bills and the prime sponsors for coming together uh, for this hearing today. I'd now like to turn the floor over to Councilmember Corey Johnson, who is the sponsor of Intro 1322. Uh, thank you, Chair Gorodnik, for the opportunity to speak today about Introduction 1322. As you said, my bill to require entities like the Economic Development Corporation, which administer economic development benefits on the city's behalf, to report on their efforts to recover benefits provided to projects which default on the agreement under which such assistance was provided. That is to say, if the city provides taxpayer money under a set of terms, if those terms are not abided, then either the recipient of the money must fix the situation or the city takes the money back. It's an arrangement we all agree to every day. If you are a consumer and you go into a store and you pay for milk and discover that it's sour, you either receive new milk or you get your money back. This is a common sense bill that says corporations should not be able to lie their way into taxpayer money without consequence. I'd like, to, again, to thank uh, you, Chair Gorodnik, the chair of this committee, for your leadership and the other council members who have lent their support on this bill, and I ask my colleagues to please vote in favor of it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Councilmember Johnson, uh, and we will stand in recess and then call a vote. Thank you.